so we moored up at Pennington Flash, which is a massive great area of recreation, lots of uh, facilities for children, and a massive great lake. Moving on towards Wigan now on the Liverpool and Leeds Canal. Old lock gates there. But there is a piece of sculpture really. So the first obstacle of the day is a swing bridge or a lift bridge and because it's on a busy road you're only allowed to operate it out of peak hour times. Let's see what happens next. It clearly is a busy road. Just push the down button when I'm through. Okay, start pushing it. There's a pump out immediately after that lift bridge in the narrow down section makes it really tight for other people to get by because you've got to stop your pump out. Yeah. Lots of really rusty boats here. Looks like they need to get a window cleaner. Idea. IBM Push D The difference between the two canals, the Bridgewater and the Liverpool and Leeds, is immediately apparent. Um, the Bridgewater is well maintained, it's up together. As soon as you get on the Lees in Liverpool, which is part of the Canal and River Trust, um, the, sh the branches and foliage all comes down to the uh, canal. The banks are not in good condition. Truly big contrast. There is an old pub over there, the Dover Lock Inn is well past its best days, looks like it's had a fire. subsidence due to mining activity.
filled in rubbish in the canal looks like a child scooter. Morning. I've got a horrible feeling we're sitting on the bottom here. There's only just crawling in. tall banks on this is that because this section is subject to flood and here is the next lock which size the lock landing then right hand side right hand side go on Harry it's on the right hand side As you can hear is some tree monkeys up there felling a big tree on the left hand side. Just the junction of the Lee branch with the Leeds and Liverpool Canal. This is the third lock into Wigan and I've turned left in the direction of Liverpool rather than right which would have been in the direction of Leeds but if you were going to Leeds it's 92 and a half miles to Liverpool it's 35 miles This is called the Henhurst Canal Bridge and obviously it's in Wigan.
so we're moored up on the visitor mooring at Wigan. which is a floating pontoon and that's the trencher field building that uh, I shot from the road and that's the side view of it from the moorings. There is a padlock on the gate which didn't work but it works now I've um, put some silicone spray in it and it's working a treat. There is a derelict, what would have been a mill over there on the skyline. Hopefully it will be regenerated because they are magnificent buildings. Would have been a dirty smelly place when it was all going though. Trencher Field Mill, interesting read. Uh, third mill to be built on this site. It used to have um, one of the country's first fire sprinkler systems imported from America. It's a good read. I'll put a link in the description. It's not actually open today, but they've got some stuff on display outside. And the actual mill itself has been turned into apartments, which they call heritage apartments. It is a magnificent building though, considering its age now and the use it was put to industrial would have been filled with soot and smoke in the day. There's a ginormous industrial fan in the uh, car park. Well, again, I'll put a link in the description, but um, it was made in 1910. Originally powered by a rope and pulley system, Just incredible. The heavy engineering we used to do back in the day as well. These exhibits are all in the car park at Trenchfield Mill. But this is a steam powered hammer. And the hammer was made in 1862 and used for years in manufacture of items such as crankshaft, connecting rods and printing rollers. Again, I'll put a link in the description. Well this church has fallen into dereliction. It would have been grand in its day. It's got a bell on the top there. And plenty of trees growing out of the roof. That's an unusual name for a hotel stroke pub. It's called the Swan and Railway Hotel. But it is housed in what would have been, and still is really, magnificent building. Well, the Swan and Railway Hotel has got a really nice sign outside which has got to be the um, famous Mallard locomotive I would think. Wigan Wallgate Railway Station. The buildings would have been grand in their day one looks a bit sorry, 1890. Well, this building that's now Bet Fred on the ground floor was called Moot Hill Chambers. It's a really grand old building too, I wonder what it was. Well there's some serious demolition going on here as well. So it's a massive great site, it's going to get redeveloped. I'll, I'll try and research it and find out what's going on. Famous son of Wigan, George Formby. When I'm cleaning windows, George Harrison liked him as well. Bet you didn't know that. Where's well, a quiet little corner, literally off of the busy market square, and there's the John Ball Chop House, Thwaites Brewery, leading out onto quite a pleasant green where there's some lovely old flowers there. 
That's the frontage of it. Obviously a bit of history there. See if I can find out some stuff and put a link in the description. So I don't think they let me in. I'm definitely over 40. Well, it's a lovely focal point. And it's dead opposite where the John Bull pub is. It's literally only 50 yards off the main thoroughfare and it's quiet up here. So this is the Gerard Wynn Stanley Gardens. Wigan born founder of the Diggers. Well, there's a marvellous sculpture of Billy Boston, famous international rugby player and uh, Wigan player, absolutely idolised in this part of the world. Link in the description. There's a ubiquitous weather spoon up a tiny little alleyway full of character and literally 50 yards off the main thoroughfare. And that's the frontage of the weather spoons from the market square. It's a big establishment. Well, there's a war memorial to the men of Wigan, and that's pretty impressive as well. And there's some from the Falklands War on there, which of course is a little bit more recent than the First and Second World Wars. So it is the Wigan Parish Church where the War Memorial is. Some fabulous stone carvings on that building and on that war memorial. The skill to do that, unbelievable. Did you know that in 1922 the following activities were forbidden in the churchyard? Push, drive or ride any wheel device, apart from a wheelchair or a pushchair. Graze a bull, ox, cow, heifer, steer, calf, sheep, lamb, hog, pig or sow and lots of other rules and regulations. How about that for a grand old building that's fallen on hard times? The famous Pagefield and it was a hotel back in the day with some very ornate work on it. Well, disused and out of favour for a magnificent building that was back in the day, all the artistic stoneworks on it. Got a feeling that central part was an arcade at one time. Well, if ever you're in Wigan, I guarantee that it's a great weather spoons. Two pints of beer, less than four quid. So that's the story of Wigan Pier, which um, fell into decline a long, long time ago. And the original was sold as scrap for 34 quid in 1929. Worth a read. And that's a replica of the Wigan Pier made by students back in the 1980s. Trencherfield Mill in the distance. The towpaths here are cobbled as well, it all adds to the character of it. Lovely old brick stone bridge. This post here is um, here to stop the ropes chaffing the um, stones. They put a post there when the horses were pulling the barges. 
fabulous old stonework that. What, what we've seen in Wigan, famous um, for its industrial revolution days, and wealthy mill owners in the uh, textile cotton trade, where they built elaborate buildings and elaborate mills, um, which you can still see today up in the town centre, you obviously see the buildings are uh, not used now for what they were originally. For instance, there's some that were hotels, and it's, it's in the brickwork. That, that's what it used was, and now it's just like a pound shop or something like that. But you can see the former glory of them, and the canal itself has got lots of character. The towpaths are cobbled, and there's some lovely old canal side cottages. Um, all in all, it's a town that's worth having a look around. I found it incredibly interesting. Hope you enjoy our walk round Wigan. Thanks for watching.